Amber is more than a beautiful gem. It's a natural time capsule. Born from ancient tree resin, it fossilized over millions of years, preserving whatever became trapped inside. Insects, feathers, leaves, even air bubbles are held in perfect three-dimensional stasis. Holding amber is like holding a moment from a vanished world. Imagine seeing a fly from the age of dinosaurs, its wings still delicate, or a spider from a forest that no longer exists. For scientists, amber is an invaluable archive, preserving details the fossil record usually loses, like soft tissues and tiny structures. Each discovery is a missing page from Earth's history, helping us piece together evolution and ancient ecosystems. The excitement of finding something entirely new is what drives researchers to keep searching. Sometimes the most extraordinary finds happen by accident. In one such moment, scientists stumbled upon a fossil so rare it opened a new chapter in our understanding of microscopic life. This was not just another insect or plant, but a creature almost never seen in the fossil record. Its discovery would change what we know about survival and resilience in the ancient world. This is the story of that golden window and the tiny survivor it revealed. Let's step inside. Meet the tardigrade, also called the water bear or moss piglet. These microscopic animals, less than a millimeter long, lumber on eight stubby legs with claws. They live everywhere, mountaintops, ocean depths, hot springs, and Antarctic ice. What makes them famous is their near indestructibility. When threatened, tardigrades enter cryptobiosis, curling into a ton and suspending life almost completely. In this state, they survive extreme cold, heat, pressure, radiation, even the vacuum of space. They can rehydrate and return to life after years, making them true survivors. This ability has let them persist for over 500 million years, outlasting mass extinctions. Finding a fossilized tardigrade is a major event. These creatures are time travelers, and their fossils are windows into the deep past. The discovery of one from millions of years ago is a rare scientific treasure. And that's exactly what happened. Despite their ancient lineage and global presence, tardigrade fossils are almost non-existent. Their microscopic size and soft bodies make fossilization nearly impossible. Most decompose quickly, leaving no trace. Only under exceptional conditions, like being trapped in amber, can they be preserved. Before this recent find, only two definitive tardigrade fossils had ever been described. Media Group, Canadian Amber Fossil. Close-ups, preserved specimen in amber from Canada, museum display of amber fossils, a stock should distribute equally, one in Canadian amber, another as a rock impression in Siberia. These rare fossils are crucial for understanding tardigrade evolution, but leave vast gaps in their history. Each new specimen is a priceless snapshot, revealing how these tiny survivors have changed over millions of years. The discovery of a new fossil isn't just another data point, it's a major leap in our knowledge. Every tardigrade fossil is a ghost from the past, defying the odds to reach us. And now, a third has been found. This discovery was pure scientific luck. Scientists examining 16-million-year-old Dominican amber were searching for ants and insects, not tardigrades. Dominican amber is famous for its clarity and diversity, offering a vivid snapshot of Miocene forests. While scanning a piece under the microscope, a researcher noticed a tiny speck, too small to be an ant. Closer inspection revealed the unmistakable form of a tardigrade, perfectly preserved. The excitement was immediate. A rare fossil, found by accident, frozen in time as it crawled on ancient moss or lichen. The amber also preserved fragments of the microhabitat, plants and fungi around it. This was more than a fossil. It was a preserved ecosystem. Careful observation and curiosity led to the identification of the first tardigrade in Dominican amber, only the third ever found. The new species was named Paradoraphoribius chronocaribius, marking a major milestone in paleontology. Sometimes, the smallest discoveries have the biggest impact. This was one of those moments.
After the excitement, the real work began, studying the fossil without damaging the amber. Scientists used confocal laser microscopy, scanning the specimen layer by layer to create a detailed 3D model. This non-invasive technique revealed the tardigrade's external features, its cuticle, claws, and body shape. The clarity was so high, even the fine filaments of fungi nearby were visible. Remarkably, the microscope also revealed internal structures, like the foregut and stylet, the needle-like mouthpart used for feeding. Seeing inside a 16-million-year-old animal is almost unheard of in paleontology. These details allowed scientists to compare the fossil to modern tardigrades and confirm it was a new species and genus. The unique arrangement of its claws and mouthparts set it apart from any known tardigrade. Advanced imaging turned a tiny speck into a biological blueprint, unlocking secrets of ancient life. This level of detail is only possible thanks to Amber's extraordinary preservation. The fossil became a window into a lost world. The 3D model of Paradora Phoribius, Chronocaribius, allowed scientists to compare it with other tardigrades, living and fossilized. Unlike the older Siberian impression or the Canadian amber fossil, this specimen belonged to the Isohypsibioidea superfamily a major group of modern tardigrades. Its discovery provides a crucial evolutionary link, showing how traits evolved over millions of years. The number and arrangement of its claws and the structure of its mouthparts were unique, hinting at different feeding strategies or diets. These subtle differences are the raw material of evolution, showing that even tardigrades have changed and diversified. The find adds a new branch to the tardigrade family tree, revealing complexity we never knew existed. It's a reminder that the fossil record for microscopic life is full of gaps. Each new discovery fills in those blanks, connecting the ancient and modern worlds. Paradora Phoribius is a tangible link to a lost era. Its story is just beginning to be told. Amber's power lies in its ability to preserve life in stunning detail. When resin engulfs an organism, it creates an airtight antibacterial seal, halting decay. Over millions of years, this forms a three-dimensional fossil, capturing not just hard parts, but soft tissues, colors, and sometimes even internal organs. Amber fossils reveal details impossible to see in rock, like the patterns on insect wings or the last meal of a spider. Recent finds include dinosaur feathers, ancient lizards, and even a baby snake, revolutionizing our view of the past. Dominican amber, where the tardigrade was found, is younger but offers a rich snapshot of Miocene tropical forests. Thousands of species, many new to science, have been identified from these deposits. Each inclusion helps reconstruct ancient ecosystems, from climate to food webs. The tardigrade adds a microscopic layer, confirming that complex microhabitats existed millions of years ago. Amber is not just a fossil, it's a preserved ecosystem, a diorama of ancient life. The discovery of Paradora Phoribius Chronocaribius is a testament to the power of curiosity and luck in science. Finding such a tiny, soft-bodied creature after 16 million years is a statistical miracle. It challenges the fossil record's bias toward large, hard-bodied animals. This single specimen expands our knowledge of tardigrade evolution and hints at countless undiscovered wonders. Vast quantities of amber remain unexamined, each piece a potential treasure trove. These finds connect us to Earth's deep past, revealing the ancient roots of today's ecosystems. The tardigrade story is both alien and familiar, reminding us of life's resilience. Understanding these histories enriches our appreciation for the biodiversity around us. Fossils like this are the footnotes that add depth and surprise to the story of life. The hunt for the ghosts of the past continues.